Uh, morning everyone. I'm going to come back now for the um, stage two, the last couple of um, goals on this. Uh, Cars has done a service on one, so I've done the first six on one service. So. Now back here, um, I've spent quite a lot of gold. Um, I'm now down to 31. I've been um, spending gold on this car. I've actually gone a bit uh, mad with the uh, spending, I think. I've spent on this and also the um, Aston Martin GT3. I've got them both pretty well upgraded now, so um, there's a gameplay video on the uh, GT3 if you want to have a look at that one. Actually, looks a better car than this. Um, I might have made a bit of a mistake because there's also uh, a GTE. That does say you can win that um, by doing a 500. Hopefully, that's going to be part of this series, but as yet, I don't actually know. So, I'm hoping I've not made a mistake and um, spent too much gold on this one uh, and it's going to affect getting a GTE, but time will tell. So, anyway, moving on, uh, goal number seven. To perform well in a race, you need to know the track intimately. Let's start your track familiarisation with Silverstone, a regular on the endurance racing calendar. Win these events. We've got three little ones again. Right, so we've got Speed Snap, Elimination and Hunter. We've got Grand Prix Circuit, International Circuit and the National Circuit. Now out of those circuits, uh, the National Circuit I always find is the most difficult if you're doing a full lap that is. International is one that takes a little bit of getting used to but I'm used to that now. And the Grand Prix circuit is nice and open and it's big and you know it's a long old circuit so it's not going to fit any of these three but that's just my opinion on um, Silverstone. Uh, some of the tracks there's more than that obviously on the game. So the first one is a speed snap as you can see I'm I actually thought that was high, uh, more upgraded than 23 or 31. And I've got one coming, whatever it was, but like there's the engine. So I've got one on the drive train to get. Like there's, 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 so there's going to be three more coming. The important ones, I always think, are the last three your um, wheels, your brakes, or tyres actually. Tyres, brakes, and exhaust are always important. I think more important than the rest of them. The only trouble with the engine, when you upgrade that one and the body, Quite often, there's about seven on the engine to upgrade and five on the body. Now, with this particular car, they've kicked in with the gold updates, upgrade, sorry, um, really quickly. And the PR of the car is still only 54.8, so it's actually not that, uh, not that high, to be honest. Stats look quite good, though. I mean, the stats there, to me, look pretty much like uh, something similar on the lines of uh, a GTR Sumo Power or uh, the other one, whatever the other one's called, we've got a name, well, name of it now. But similar to that, but not quite as grippy. That, that's the sort of thing, anyway. We're going to rub it in, let's get on with this um, three little thing. So, spacing up first. One hundred and thirty two miles an hour. So I'll need one three three. And as always with these speed snaps, sometimes you need to do them once just to see uh, where not where the line is, but where the critical corner is that you need to be exiting at a good speed. And your target may be higher than this, may be lower than this. Funny, that's the corner that usually gets me more than anything else on uh, this particular circuit. So I've done that really at the right one because that is, I think, the trickiest corner um, on that circuit. Well, that was extremely easy. What I do, um, my, you know, as I just before I go to bed on these on this game, doing these uh, challenges and stuff, I put the car uh, that I'm using in service, 
and also because I'm limited to three mechanics like a lot of people are um, if there's any other cars that I know I've used that day um, then I will put those in service the ones that take a long time so say like where I was using the 2013 uh, little Porsche 911 the uh, sort of Pro Class Le Mans car uh, that takes about five hours to service, so I always leave those sort of cars until you know when I'm going to bed, then I can service them, you know, uh, when I'm asleep. And then, so any of the cars if I've used them that do a long time service, so like the Audi R18, that type of thing, I always service them last thing at night. Anyway, so uh, number so next one I'm going to go elimination at the international circuit. I don't actually think this car will get a lot faster than this anyway. It seems to me, uh, you know, I, I upgrade every car to about 70% anyway, so I just do uh, on these challenges what I do in everything else on the game. I get comfortable with getting to that position. change of scenery eh? So at least this track seems more realistic to me because it's wider, it's wide enough that you can get a few cars side by side on the track. Some circuit, I mean here, you could probably get about five cars here on the whip for this. But a lot of the tracks we race, it looks like you can't even get two. I've been doing some uh, track guide videos just so you can get used to the names of some of the corners and where you are on the track. It's surprising it actually makes the it makes the circuit you know if you're a bit more familiar with it you'll find you'll drive better on it. To say when you're at Le Mans whatever and you're going down a mole sand straight or you're approaching the Porsche curves or Dunlop chicane whatever it's nice to get familiar with an angel and where you are on the track because it's well, it just it just makes you drive better I think so if you haven't um, seen any of the track guys have a little look at them just to get you a bit more familiar with um, the circuits not about you but I actually like to sort of know the names of the famous corners and you know what is the fastest bit of each circuit that sort of stuff Right here for you. Well, we're gonna need one, two, ten lap Le Mans a day to um top my gold up again because I, I level up cost me I get 35 gold for doing that so we do that today up on about 60 something anyway because you're going to use a couple of gold and then so I want to try and get this back up to 100 gold by two tomorrow night I don't like having this 100 Every time you move up a group on a time trial leaderboard, you earn an racing dollar bonus. Well, that's why it says an. Uh, right, Hunter, Silverstone Grand Prix. 
Uh, Hunter usually is, uh, the distance you get is usually uh, on how many upgrades you've got on your car. So here I will probably have different uh, to you. That's 737 yards. That seems to be a big jump between the first and the second. Trouble is with some of these, uh, I don't know if this is just going to be against the robots or whether some of these distances are actually going to be by uh, real people doing it. Because what happens is on uh, when you do it against real people doing it, if they're shortcutting and or spinning off the uh, car being chased, you have to do the same thing, otherwise you won't complete it. Because there's no penalty on these um, hunters for going off track, cutting the grass, running across cat litter or anything like that. There's no uh, punishment whatsoever. But I can always tell by doing a run that's, you know, I know it's a fairly um, good time. I might be able to knock off a second or whatever, but I'll know if they've cut corners or not <clears throat> hopefully they can't do that in oh, that weren't good I probably lost a second there yeah. hopefully that won't be the case in this challenge but we'll see it's not even halfway round yet we're closing in quite well so Still got a fair old bit of time, so. But it just seems to be a big target, 700 odd. Couldn't do it, so they've probably gone across the last corner. See, I've got a similar uh, distance there to what the target looks like it should be to me. Uh, so that here, where 500 or 600, so that that one, whoever that is, I mean, that doesn't. That to me looks like a real person. So they've cut across the final corner for that. So, 590, so if I retry that, is that going to give me the same figure? Right, so I've got to cut across that, fi that final corner because I'm not going to do it otherwise. I don't particularly like doing things like that, but I say sometimes you've got really no choice. If I was to <coughs> go out of that If I was to have gone out of that and uh, started it again, I may well have had a different target. But sometimes with that, that other person has also done uh, the same shortcut. It might have even done a bigger shortcut than that, because that, that is possible as well. The other thing they might have done is spun off the car being chased, which I didn't do. I might actually try that first. Depends if he comes up in a good spot for me or not. Recovered yet? Oh, so he's still not recovered yet. 
<coughs> so that'll probably get me another uh, another little bit of distance. Maybe not enough distance, but it'll get me more distance. Well, see, I'm still not catching him now. So that's what he's done, he's obviously spun him off and he's then cut that last corner. Unfortunately I've had to do the same thing but here's a game I suppose. Now the only thing is that's going to make it awkward if anyone else gets my target but that's going to be their problem I suppose. I'm too honest I think all the time in this game I shouldn't really care like no one else does. <coughs> 